My name is John Spink. I am a multimedia photojournalist here at the paper. I've been here for 36 years. Maybe one of the more unusual things I think I had to do to get a picture was when our folks came in with Ebola over at Emory. And um, I remember you know, getting the assignment saying, hey, can you go over to Emory and the Ebola patient's supposed to be coming in. I understand that there's a lot of national media, there's a lot of local media there. And uh, just get what you can because, uh, you know, I don't think we're gonna be able to actually see the patient being taken off the ambulance. And sure enough, I get over there and the whole Clifton Road is just filled with satellite trucks and not only just, you know, our local media people, but, you know, national media, all kinds of tents are set up with, you know, the anchors of the various different affiliates, you know, doing their thing there and talking about, you know, the patient that was, you know, their impending arrival. And so I, I got, you know, hung around, started making pictures of all that and whatnot. I just got frustrated. I just said, well, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, I, I've got to be in a position to where I can see this, you know, patient getting out. So I decided to walk in campus and I was fairly familiar with campus. And I called up my reporter and I said, can you do me a favor? Because I knew that he always watched television. Can you tell me when they land at the airport and just kind of give me an update of their route coming toward Emory? I just need a blow by blow, like what streets they're on, et cetera, et cetera. And I was telling him this because what I wanted to do was kind of go incognito through campus, kind of concealing my camera gear so I wouldn't stick out. And at the last minute, I would just bring out my camera gear and begin shooting. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, Mike Morris, uh, one of our longtime reporters, gave me a blow by blow from the Channel 2 helicopter shot of the motorcade coming in with the patient. And he says, okay, they're taking they're taking their right on Clifton Road. And I knew right then and there, that's when I, okay, I'm bringing out my gear. And I brought up the camera to my face and saw the ambulance come up. And, and sure enough, you know, the doors were coming open and I just started firing. And, and people were actually trying to, you know, come over, some officials, you know, with their hands, like, don't shoot, don't shoot. And here, here you have all the student body and students and teachers walking by. But yet the guy with the camera around his neck, no, 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 you can't shoot. And everybody else has got their camera phones going, right? So, you know, I had to kind of move this way and move this way to kind of get my, my shot. And I, I wish I would have had a longer lens just for a better clarity and uh, better quality. But, you know, I couldn't lug a big bazooka lens through there. I would have stuck out like a sore thumb. So it, uh, it sufficed. We got the shot.